Hey everybody, um, sorry for like the weird background noise. Uh, I'm in my studio, there's people working out in the, in the, in the, in the sculpture space, so I had to move it into here so we could record the demo. Uh, and there's a, I've got like some sort of induction system or something in my studio, so it's a little louder. But uh, today we're gonna introduce um, some simple workings with clay. I'm basically gonna show everybody how to just make some simple cubes. Um, we're gonna need to, to make at least three simple cubes um, at a varying sizes, so one smaller and then two slightly larger all the way up. Um, so three is what we're looking for. I'm also gonna attach a, another video of a different uh, person who's showing you basic, some, some basic wedging techniques and we'll wedge for a couple reasons to work air out of the clay um, if we're reclaiming stuff or doing something like that or um, to get any impurities out or a particle alignment too. So we're, we're, we're not gonna be diving too much into kind of um, into into the clay aspect, you know, we're not going to spend like this isn't a clay class, but I want to introduce you to the material in a proper way. So I'll show you some basic wedging, some things like that. I'll have I'll have some demos for that, and also we'll do like a in a lecture. I'll kind of walk over um, a little bit of uh, about clay types and um, and kind of the different physical stages of clay and things like that. So we have an idea of what we're working with, and so we can gain some in, in, in introduction to the material itself. So so by now we've introduced this project one. I'm sorry, project two. Uh, the microscopic body. And uh, this project deals with carving from a solid and actually removing a reductive process of removing material to create our final object, to create the composition that we're looking to gain. Um, I'm excited about this project. We've done this one in the past and I've done it with plaster, which is it's a fun, it's fun, but um, I feel like clay will be a bit more forgiving, um, and a little bit easier to carve and that sort of stuff. So I felt like this is a great way to introduce, um, introduce this, um, use this project to introduce this material. Uh, so we'll have about, I think, about three weeks on this project. Uh, so we're going to have to get cooking. Um, it takes a while. We've got a number of different steps, a number of different exercises where we'll work from two-dimensional sketches like we've been doing in our last sketchbook exercise and, uh, up into um, actual 3D sketches, which we call maquettes. So this is, um, this is what you're, you're going to be learning how to do. So our, yep, our three-dimensional sketches, smaller versions of what we're hoping uh, our larger thing will look back and calling that a maquette. So if you see in one of your things that says three maquettes, do this time, um, you'll know you'll know what I'm talking about. So the smaller three-dimensional sketches that we can that we can work with. This way, we're we're learning how to use the material, but we're also we have something three-dimensional to look at uh, and when we're starting to think about um, about our, our compositions. Okay, or our, the objects we'll be thinking. So um, today, very simply, um, shouldn't take very long. I just want to introduce kind of some simple ways of thinking about starting to build and what I'm looking for for your cues. So you'll notice it's like exercise two point. Two or something like that uh, will be. It says uh, it will be your um, uh, cubes. So, so when we're carving solid, we need to let this stuff dry up a little bit. So we're starting to prep it, prep things a little bit early in advance, so these things can have time to, to as the, the water kind of leaves the, the clay, it tightens up, so we can actually carve into it. Uh, if it's really wet, we won't be able to have that carving ability without muddying up the project, as you'll, as you'll see. So we're starting a little early. We start a little earlier. In, in prepping this stuff, and I'm actually asking you to prep like a 10 pound block too as well. Um, I think we start, that's one of the next ones, and that's gonna be for your final piece. Um, so you wanna give that enough time to dry out a little bit so you can actually carve it without deforming it too much. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually take these wire, some wire cutters. Uh, we have wire cutters throughout the, 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 the shop here. I'll, I'll put some out for everybody to use. Just grab some and hold on to them so they're your wire cutters throughout the, the, the um, duration of this project. Uh, and then we can put them back at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my block of clay and I'm going to unwrap the, uh, the plastic off of it, right? And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut a chunk out. This shouldn't take very long. It's super simple. And I'm just going to slowly start to kind of pat it. So the, I'm going to leave it up to you, but I'd say the first one, I want I want it to be about tennis ball size, okay? Um, so the first ball is just about a, the size of the tennis ball. And then just kind of take it, you're going to get a, a wear board, which everybody should have their wear boards, right? I, I, I gave you this on the first day of class. So I want you to work on the top of your wear board. And then we're just going to slowly start to kind of pound it out into a square. Super simple. Shouldn't take you long. Pretty mindless. I'm asking for three. Go ahead and do four or five if you want. Just know that this bag of material is the only, the only bag of clay you're going to get. So you just need to be mindful of that. So right now I have like kind of a rough cube shape. So now you can come back and just grab any piece of wood. I grab this little paddle. We have tons of paddles over by the tools, over by the um, by the kind of the loading dock area. There's a big thing of, of tools. Grab a paddle if you need to. Be sure to disinfect it when you put it back. And then we're just kind of coming back and lightly just kind of 
paddling the edges, and what this is doing is just kind of cleaning up the, the beast. So I can set it down, actually kind of square it up. I want them to be nice and square. I don't want them to, I want them to look like you put some time into them. So try to get them as, as perfect as possible. And that's a good challenge. One done. Have another wear board out for something that you can set them on. And we're going to set it off to the side. So you have one there. The next one I want you to scale up slightly. So this one, maybe if this is one pound, maybe this next one is, uh, is going to be two pounds. So just bump it up a pound, right? So slightly a bit larger. Same thing. Just start working each side. We're working with solid clay, so it takes a little bit longer to dry. So if I were to start carving into this with, with I would be able to remove material pretty quickly, but I wouldn't be able to do it very cleanly. It would be, uh, it would be uh, pretty messy, pretty muddy. Um, the the detail line, things like that, might be might be a bit blurred. So I'm just kind of working it around side to side, gaining that square shape, rough kind of square, right? And then I'll come back and start to refine it. So set it down on anything again. Get a flat edge. Could be a two by four. Could be any piece of wood with a flat edge. And just start kind of pat paddling it wood in the wood shop, there's wood along the, the uh, in the, across from the Metal Fab studio, uh, there's there's these paddles in the tool area, so just kind of hunt around. You guys are starting to get used to the studio, so, so hunt around. Once again, taking time to just detail it out, make it nice and clean, and then we're going to let it set. You could also, like, now you can kind of take off and you're going to come back in like an hour or 25, 30 minutes, you can let this sit out and these will dry up slightly, so then you can come back and actually work them a little bit more. There's cube number two. And now cube number three, we're gonna cut another chunk. Um, same thing, I'm not gonna go over wedging in this video, I don't wanna spend too much time here, but um, I, I will post a video about wedging. And now if I were to, you know, cutting, cutting clay right out of the bag, it's gonna be de-aired. Uh, but as I'm using it, if I'm ripping chunks out and putting them back in the bag, as I'm doing that, I'm actually, if I were to put this back on here, I'm actually building air into, into the things. I'm like creating a layer of air and then that can create an air pocket that will, will tend to form and then can, you know, can blow up in the kiln. So we'd actually blow up pieces in the kiln. So we don't want to have that. So we're going to need to learn how to wedge. Um, but for the way that we're working with the clay, it's not necessarily as important, especially if you're cutting big chunks out of your clay, um, out of this already de-aired clay, which goes through a machine and does it. Next size up, so we're looking at about three pounds of clay here. So we have one, two, three. That's a good rule to follow. Uh, you go a little bigger. It doesn't need to be precise. Just um, so if we're thinking maybe uh, this is like racquetball, <laughs> baseball, softball, right? If you're more of a visual learner like me. Um, so I'm just gonna do the same thing, working on a, a piece of uh, wearboard. If you notice that the really, clay is really starting to stick, we're starting to get this wet spot here, and the clay might stick, just flip your board over, work on a dry, dry surface. I just want you guys to try to make a really nice, consistent square, consistent cube. Sorry, these are cubes, they're working three-dimensionally, remember we're not working with squares or circles, we're working with cubes or spheres. Um, so coming back through, I'm just spending some time to just level this out. This is an easy exercise to get your points, but it's necessary. Like we got, like if you go to try to start carving this and working this now, like I said, it'd be really difficult to do. Okay? So now that we know we're done with our clay here, we can go ahead and just bag this up. I want to make sure that we're doing this, otherwise our clay is going to dry out, which we're going to go over some stages, clay, introduce you to that. I'm going to set this just aside for now. And I'm going to go ahead again, paddle this up. Notice the, how responsive the clay is to, to your touch. I'll kind of just switch it down. Um, as it starts to dry, that will happen less and less. A lot of sculptors that work this way, they build solid, and then they, um, and then they'll carve, and then they'll carve away. So we're doing this reductive, reductive process of carving. 
This is a this is a, a demo on on, on on building some simple cubes that we're starting to think about maquettes that we're going to start to think about um, you know applying uh, applying some some, some uh, different textures and some, some carving techniques. We're going to learn how to carve. We're going to learn how to work uh, the materials uh, through these cubes. Okay, all right. Thanks. 